am Shelley of the North. I am a knight. What was once seen by common folk and royalty alike as a mere puppet hath been chiseled into a proud and virtuous warrior. While nary a soul could see the night within, my destiny would shine mightily and illuminate the way. Prithee, stay for a moment, and I shall regale thee with the story of my adventure. An adventure that can only be described as lunacy. That's certainly not gonna help. You're right, Marie, I'm sorry. It's just that she's spaced out again, and I don't think she's heard much of anything I've said. Mary! Yes? What? Oh, nay, good woman. Mary, tis an exclamation. Oh, God, are you serious? I shall have thee know that I have heard those childish remarks. Pray tell where this concern originates from, so I might end my suffering henceforth. That. That whole old Englishy talk and the costume thing. You're living in the past, Shelley, and it isn't healthy. Look, I know you're going through a bit of a rough patch, but... Perchance it is thou who art caught up in the fantasy of the everyday. Uh, I think what Don is trying to say is that, that maybe you took a coping mechanism too far and kind of um, got lost. I mean, I don't think they even had female knights back then. Actually, there was the Order of the Hatch in the middle of the 12th century in Catalonia. Women of that order had a lot of privileges, like tax exemption and even precedence over men. What ho! The Order of the Hatchet! Thank you, Sir Donald the Wise. And in Italy, there was the Order of the Glorious St. Mary, which lasted until 1550. Oh. Thanks a lot for that. I can't help it if Sir Donald the Wise is a wealth of random knowledge. Now see what you've done, Mr. Wikipedia. Well, you try then. Uh, stay thy blade. Oh, fair maiden Marie, wherefore dost thou interrupt my training? Shelley, look, everybody has ways of dealing with stress. I know I have mine, but I... One of my favorites is to do crosswords. But this isn't that. This is an escape. Now I know it's hard living in the present when every time you go to work you run a strong chance of potentially ruining someone's life. It is the result of a greedy corrupt lord who lusts to empty the pockets of the people he claims to serve. The bottom line does take priority over what's right sometimes. I know that last case broke your heart, but running away from dealing with it especially centuries and centuries away from it, well, it'll only take longer to get past it. Do you know what I mean? I guess. So does this mean that Shelley of the North is ancient history? I am Shelley Welch. I am an insurance claims adjuster. I may not belong to the Order of the Hatchet, or any order for that matter, but I still hold true the virtues of what being a knight means. I use the past not as a shield, but as a blade to slice through the darkness of melancholia. I am no longer a resident of a bygone era. But it doesn't mean I can't visit there from time to time.